you need this bible you need the green candle and you need your pen hello people welcome back to package beauty remedies if you are new here hello and welcome and for the returning subscribers thank you for coming back so guys today i want to talk about how you can you know um getting help from wealthy people getting wealthy you know with people around you getting help from wealthy people getting help from wealthy people people who are very wealthy and also um those who are owing you money somebody they have been owing you for many years there are some of you guys people they are owing you when you call them they don't pick their call sometimes you call them they will pick they will keep on promising you they will bring it today tomorrow next tomorrow sometimes they block you sometimes you don't have access to them again so today i'm going to show you how you can bring those people to pay you your money and how to get help from wealthy people from rich people how to get help from rich people so guys cool down watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you can understand what and what i mentioned in this particular video cool down watch this video if there's anything you don't understand in this particular video feel free to leave me your comments below so welcome to package beauty remedies don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like share the video and feel free to leave me your comment below okay it is very very important for you to watch at least to know what is inside the video what content is all about not only seeing only the title and the just comment or asking questions so god bless you as you do so so guys in today's video what you need to do this particular what you need to do this particular spiritual assignment what you need to do this spiritual assignment what you need to do and what and what you need okay guys you will need candle green candle here is the green candle and you will need a pen here is pen it doesn't matter what color preferable you can use red or black no you can use red or blue okay preferable you can use red or blue or you can use white or blue preferable so you need pen and also you will need green candles so pen and green candle so all you have to do guys i will show you how to do this so that it can be very 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 effective so that your prayers and your spiritual work will be very 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 effective so you can do this prayer anytime you can do it anytime in the afternoon in the night anytime in the day anytime in the day it doesn't what matter what time as long as you've got space you have space where you can round this candle where you can circle this candle you can put it you can do circle where you be on the middle this particular prayer you need to be in the middle to do this prayer in the middle you you need this candle seven you need this candle this green any any other candle green this green 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 candle you take this green candle you make circles you go inside the middle of this green candle you make circle you need a space you know in a place where there's space you can do this particular prayer very 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 effective so what you have to do is to put it um in a, you put this candle make a circle you carry your bible you will need a bible not just only uh that you need a bible i love this type of small small bible this is my bible it is small it doesn't matter but for those of you who is finding it difficult to read 
don't worry about my bible i like this bible because i've been using this bible for so many years i know many of you will say this bible is too small but i've been using it for years and the reason why i will never go away with this bible there's a lot of things that i'll be doing some prayer assignment that i'll be, I'll be doing in the past that is why i need this bible mostly I always like to use this Bible. So there's some prayer points where I used to pray when I need help, when I need something, when something is bothering me, when I need, uh, you know, uh, emergency assistance, I use this Bible. So that's why this Bible, I can't, be, I can't throw it away, can't be thrown away. So many people used to laugh at me, they laugh at me, they say, this your Bible is too small. It's small but mighty, okay? I like it, I like it. It's good to appreciate what you have. So now, you need this Bible, you need the green candle, and you need your pen. Prefer better if you want to write. Like this particular pen got a lot of colors. But you don't see if you don't see the one that got this a lot of colors, you can use white or you use blue. There is blue here, there is also red, there is black. But blue is better because you are doing uh, spiritual things. Black is not that good for spiritual things. White and blue is good. So, but some kind of spiritual things, you need black and red. It depends what you are doing. So for today, in this explanation of this video, you need to use white or blue to write. This Bible, let me put it aside and explain the one for the candle. First of all, first of all, you have rich friends, rich cousins rich uh, families they don't like to help you they are running away anytime you tell them about money anytime you tell them about problem you want to go to school they, they say they don't have money but they are rich you want to learn hand work you ask them for some assistance they will keep on lying they don't want to help you they are stingy so this is what you have to do you take this pen this particular pen you write the names of those people that is around you, those your friends, those your rich friends, those your rich families. You write it in this candle. For example, you take this uh, this pen like this. You write their names. After you finish, you write their names in this candle. It has to be seven. It has to be seven. Okay, guys. It has to be seven candles. You write all the names of your rich friends. You write all uh, your name too. You write their names. You write your, not one candle, seven, as I said, because you need to be in the circle of this candle. When you put it, you know, you have to circle it. Use it to make a circle. You will stay in, uh, inside the circle of this candle for do, to do this prayer. So when you finish to write the names of those your rich friends, your rich uh, boyfriend, your rich your father, your rich sister, your rich auntie, your rich cousins, who, who, you finish. You also write your name in the candle. You write their name, like example, you write their name like this. You finish to write their name, you write your name, you write their name, you write their name. Your name must be in each candle and their names must be in each candle. The names of those people you need help from must be in this candle and your name as well. You, you repeat you will repeat the same thing the same method okay you have to repeat the same on the seven seven of those green candles you do the same thing the same seven candles the same that seven candle you have to repeat it to seven then now you make a circle in a very uh, open space after you finish to make a circles then now you enter inside that circle you have to stay inside that circle then make a circle with the seven candles after you finish writing the names you light this candle why the candle is still burning why the candle is still burning why the candle is still burning what you have to do is to do prayers with this particular candle you start to do prayers you start to pray whatever you want those your rich friend to do for you whatever that is your wishes whatever you want in life you want a visa you want a job opportunity you want a contract you want appointment you want any opportunities at all as you are light lay light the candle you continue to pray whatever you wish and when you are praying you are going to use psalm 51 as you are praying you are going to pray with Psalm 51, you are going to pray with Psalm 24, and you are going to pray with Psalm 23. 
Psalm 51, Psalm 24, and Psalm 23. So you continue to pray. As you, you are praying, you are saying whatever you want. And the Psalms, Psalm 51, you read it seven times. Psalm 24, you read it seven times. And Psalm 23, you read it seven times. Then after you uh, read it, okay, light the candle. You first of all read all these sounds. You first of all read all these sounds while you are in the circle. While you are still in the circle of these seven candles, you are inside the circle. You are reading these psalms. Okay, when you finish reading the psalms, Psalm 51, Psalm 23, uh, Psalm, uh, Psalm 24, and Psalm 23, seven, seven times. Psalm 51, seven times. Psalm 24, seven times. Psalm 23, seven times. Then light the candle and place it in the wide circle. Place this candle in the wide circle that can contain you. You know how big you are. The wide circle where it can contain you white circle where you can contain where you can stay in the middle okay you have to use pen to write the names of the people you want that is what i've just explained so far okay what i just explained so far you have to use pen to write their names so my friends you have to write their names in this candle write your names write their names and pray whatever is your wishes whatever is your wishes even if you can read the psalms seven seven times you can also read three three times psalm 51 psalm 24 and psalm 23 you can read it three three times if you know that that seven seven times is too much for you as long as you read it from the beginning to the end three times or seven times is up to you okay it's up to you how many times you reading the psalms okay but not once not two but from three or seven three of seven preferable three or seven so when you finish to pray while the candle is still lighting walk away gently out from the circle of the candle why the candle is still burning why the candle is still burning walk away in the circle of this candle and leave that candle to finish the candle don't supposed to quench this candle don't supposed to quench if you have time do it in the night i think it's better so that nobody will have the candle for you in your house preferable when everybody has gone to bed you can start 11 or 10 o'clock preferable where you know that before day breaks the whole candle will burn finish nobody will distract the candle nobody will disturb the candle for you not to start this prayer afresh again Make sure you avoid somebody offering the candle or breeze offering the candle because if it, the candle off, if you one of the candle get off, you are definitely going to start this prayer point again because once the candle off, your prayer has spoiled. Whatever you have prayed has spoiled because these candles, those seven candles supposed to burn from the beginning to the end okay from the beginning to the end so don't forget i said you must pray three times or with uh, you must read the the, the psalms psalm 51 psalm 24 and psalm 23 three three times or seven seven times three three times or seven seven times after you finish to read it you pray after you finish to pray and then you have to like gently walk away gently stand up and just leave that particular circle and allow the candle to burn finish allow the candle to burn finish allow the candle to burn finish okay allow the candle to burn finish make a circle okay make a circle while you finish to write the names after you finish to write the names of the people you need help from your rich friend those owing you money those owing you debt write their names in this candle seven of them make a circle 
while you are in the middle of that circle light the candles after i finish lighting the candles read your psalms three three times or seven seven times preferable three times if it's the seven times is too much for you after i finish to read them then you pray make your wishes ask whatever you want demand make a request of whatever you want after you finish you walk away gently from the candle and leave the candle to burn finish yeah you are good to go do this and see the results in, in a very short period of time and don't forget to come and testify in this particular uh, in this particular uh, channel don't forget to come and testify in this channel don't forget it is very very important so guys make sure you do follow the instruction and you see the results so guys i will end this video for that let me know what you think below feel free to leave me your comment like give, give this video a thumbs up share and i will see you guys in the next one bye for now bye bye